It's no surprise that the Defender 6x6 is widely accepted as the ultimate utility vehicle. And with those massive capacities come massive expectations. We've had our 6x6 for two years now, and we thought why not give it a little facelift and help increase an already hugely capable vehicle into the ultimate 6x6. No, we're not gonna chop or cut this thing up, and no, I don't wanna jam six portals on it or add a lift kit. I wanna make it just as fun as it currently is, but increase the functionality, look, and workability. I also don't wanna take an already premium priced vehicle and price it out of this world for those of you who are considering something like this on your own 6x6. So using Kimpex's user-friendly website and massive dealer network means that I can get all of my parts quick and easy, and so can you. So right up front, I've got to address the wheels and tires. On a typical side-by-side, -side, you really only have to be concerned about the bodywork and clearance to it, but with the Defender 6x6, we have a full second set of wheels to contend with, and therein lies our problem. Pretty much, we just don't want our rear tires to touch each other. That'll cause real issues quick. The stock tires on the 6x are 27 inches, and we can handily go to a 29 without having too much concern, as each tire is only moving one inch closer to the other, and we have some good space between them. The tires we chose are the Trail Troopers from Kimpex at 29 inches by 9 inches wide. And yes, we did go for a square, or actually I guess I should say rectangular tire setup. And I pretty much can't believe that I just referenced a rectangle tire setup. The Trail Trooper tires are beefy with a really good grip on the tread, and no matter what the circumstances are that you're driving them in. I've used them in the past, I've really enjoyed them, and I think they're gonna be right at home here on the 6x. Now we could have popped the tires back on the stock rims, but two years of abuse on this rig has left our stock rims, yeah, pretty haggard. So a new six pack of ITP Hurricane 14 inch aluminum rims with lifetime warranty built right in, fits the bill just right. They're also a little more offset at five plus two, so they're gonna stick out just a slight bit more than stock, which I don't mind at all, both for stability and, well, let's be honest, overall good looks. Now, while we're on the topic of good looks, I need to address the mesh doors. I do understand the reason that they're there, but I like an aluminum door much better, both for style and safety. These Super ATV pre-assembled aluminum powder-coated doors are one of the best answers out there to seal up the side openings of your Defender and give you that more rugged and aggressive look. Plus, I don't know anyone who doesn't like the security of an all-aluminum panel to keep sticks and debris from entering through the side of the cab opening. These doors use a multi-bend design to add style and feature two fixed mounts on the heavy-duty exterior frame, as well as an automotive-type latch to keep the doors secure when riding and easy to operate for years to come. Along with the doors from Super ATV, we also opted for a winch-ready front steel bumper. It's going to protect the front end of the Defender when the terrain gets abusive, and around dirt tracks, the terrain does get abusive. Made from 1 8 inch steel, this bumper is big and rugged and has box style wings that run out and under the factory headlights. It also features a center tube style stinger bar to protect the hood and winch and allows for a perfect spot to mount lights with protection. The bumper comes with two threaded on D-rings and mounts so that you can give a pull when needed or tie something off to the front end of your Defender. And the bumper allows for seamless integration of your winch as well. And a winch we have, a 5,500 pound winch to be exact because with the payload capacity and the workability of the 6x, we need a really big winch. The Warren Axion 5500 is a beast to be reckoned with and features a new clutch design that's based off the Warren locking four-wheel drive hub systems that we all know. With 50 feet of rugged steel quarter-inch cable, you've got lots to work with. And with Warren's unique Motactor, they combine the winch contactor and the motor into one unit. So no need to find a spot to locate the contactor anymore. This is the way all winches should be made. It makes the install super easy with just the need for two battery terminals to be connected and the wired remote base to be mounted. The metal three-stage planetary gears are rugged and reliable and put all that 5,500 pounds of potential to work when you use the digital handheld wired remote. This winch is not to be messed with and will give you years of reliable performance and it's got a fully sealed IP68 waterproof rating and a three-year warranty. Warn is a winch that you can trust. When you're out on the trail, lighting is always super important. And when you've got a vehicle like the 6x that's got so much capabilities, you're liable to be out on the trail after dark. And a little bit of extra light is something that you will never turn down. I grabbed up this 9-inch Kimpex Spotlight. It's kind of a mini LED light bar and it pumps out 6K color temp light for over 50,000 hours. So your lights will still run long after your Defender doesn't. Like our worn winch, this is IP68 waterproof and comes in an aluminum finned housing to dissipate heat. The lens material is scratch resistant and the single center mount will allow us to angle the light as desired, unlike end mount light bars that are fixed once installed. A nice illuminated switch mounts up easily to the waterproof plug and gives me a massive amount of light for a very reasonable cost and easy install. I'd say we've seriously updated the look of our fairly plain Defender and added some serious potential. 
and the only thing left to do is for me to go out and play with all this cool gear. Now that I've got our Defender out here in the forest, I can actually see what all of this gear that Kimpex has supplied us with is truly made out of. But make sure you stay tuned because I've got an extra piece at the end that you don't know about, and let me tell you, it's a game changer. Right off the bat, I can tell you that these six ITP Hurricane rims wrapped in Kimpex Trail Trooper 29 inch tires are way, way better at grabbing the earth. They hook up great, and while the extra one inch of ground clearance really isn't all that much, it's also nothing to turn away from as any extra clearance is a huge help. The Super ATV doors might be the biggest felt difference to the driver as it makes you feel way more secure inside the cab. And when driving through the brush and tighter gnarly trails, you don't get twigs and sticks poking in through the mesh as we once did. Now as for the front bumper, it's something that we really hope that we don't have to put to use. But out here on the trail, it's inevitable that we're going to be pushing back tree limbs or bumping into objects. Having that big beefy front bumper with the added D-rings for pulling as well as the light bar are always a huge help and give me the assurance that at resale time, the front of this rig will still look good even if the bumper is taking a beating. Now down below the bumper is our worn 5,500 pound winch that we also don't want to forget about because out in the back 40, you can find some serious places to get yourself stuck. The impressive pulling power of the 5,500 pound Axion winch is legendary. I mean, I'm used to a 4,500 pound winch being the big gun and this thing puts that and all others to shame. And the fact that the motor and contactor are all in one made the install super simple, if you remember. The plug-in remote is handy if you need to get outside the cab when pulling, and the interior toggle switch is also likewise easy to use from inside the cab. Now, winching forwards isn't a problem with the 5,500-pound Axion, but say you get yourself deep out into the forest or maybe the swamp, sometimes a forwards pull ain't what you need. Some folks choose to use a multi-location winch on their side-by-side -side that plugs into a two-inch hitch receiver but they're typically found underwater when you need them the most, and that can make access near impossible at times. That's where this beauty from Portable Winch Co. comes into play. This right here is a PCW 4000, and it might just be the most versatile winch ever made. It's light at only 12 kilograms. It's powerful at 1,000 kilogram single line or 2,000 kilogram double line pulling force, and it's gas powered so you can use it anywhere. Summer, winter, doesn't matter when. It'll do more jobs than you might have ever thought possible by a winch. I know that I've been in many situations where I've gone in too far, been way too ambitious, and just literally cannot get back out. That problem is no more. Most times it's out in the bush with a fallen tree that we encounter or being in the swamp where it's just so deep that it becomes a trap. The PCW 4000 uses a very cool centrifugal clutch hooked to the Honda GX50 four-stroke engine that's also able to be used at any angle, no matter how extreme your pull becomes. When you get your tow object strapped up, all you have to do is wrap the rope around the drum a few times and then slip the rope through the anti-rollback mechanism or the ARM, which is sort of the throttle for the winch. As soon as you pull on the rope, the clutch recognizes that you want power and it starts to pull. When you release pressure on the rope, the arm holds the object from slipping back and holds the load in position, allowing the engine to idle back down. It's absolutely simple and perfect in function. Both the versatility and build quality of Portable Winch products is very high. They have multiple kits available with all kinds of different accessories, and they even have an electric option. The beauty of the Portable Winch brand is that you can put this winch in the box of your truck, the box of your side-by-side, -side, or even strap it to the tunnel of your snowmobile, and it'll come through each and every time. So this is the PCW from Portable Winch, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a walkthrough of how it works super easy. You take your rope, you feed it through this guide here, you take it around the bale, you go once, twice, three times, and then you go up. And what's cool is you can see how it slips around this, this uh, the, the actual drum here. It comes up, <coughs> goes around through this little kind of guide. And then these here, this is the, uh, the special feature that keeps it from backing off and, and walking away from you. If you're, say, pulling something like a wheeled, wheeled vehicle like this Defender, and you're pulling uphill, if you didn't have this special lock here that when you pull up and through, you see the the cable actually gets gets pulled in here. If you didn't have this feature, then the cable would be able to go backwards and you would lose whatever you're pulling and it would run away from you down a hill. But this is a, a nice feature that just keeps that from happening. So after you get it up top, you pull your cable over the top. This is the throttle right here. You can see it's connected to the throttle cable, super simple. And when you pull on that, what does it do? It pulls the throttle. You would think that you could modulate that, and I guess you can a little bit, but when this is hooked up to a tree and it's winding around, pretty much you just use the winch at wide open throttle. You pull on it and your tension on this rope will actually help 
in dragging the item that you're pulling, which is something interesting I found when I was pulling the defender and when you're pulling a tree, the harder you pull on the rope, it almost, this, this almost acts as an extension of yourself. So if you just pull lightly, sometimes it's, it's not moving. If you give a, you know, a wrap around your hand and give it a nice yank, it'll actually do more work. So um, yeah, it's kind of interesting how that, how that works, but you're pulling it around this bale as it's continually pulling on the rope. Um, you can always go ahead and double up the rope, which will give you double the pull strength. You do that with a pulley system super easy to set up. You just have to have a little bit more rope for it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this tree and show you how that works with the, uh, the actual dome that goes around the end of base of the tree that we're pulling. It doesn't actually dig into the ground. It just keeps sliding along the earth and, and uh, over top of stuff. It's, it's a pretty cool system. But the PCW uh, 4000 is an absolute beast, super easy. It's smart, it's a four stroke. It runs forever on a tank of fuel. It's a great product. When we wanna take our go just about anywhere Defender out and have some fun, we wanna make sure that we get back at the end of the day. And with all of the parts that we've installed, along with the portable winch product, we're gonna ensure that we can come back for another day's fun, no matter how hard the trail gets.